Good morning. Okay, hi. Today I'd like to try and learn to rock over um, four foot coping. That there. Three foot quarter pipe over there. Uh, four foot quarter pipe here. Five foot there. And then the bowl over there. Four foot in the quarter. In the corner. Four foot, no. Five foot in the corner where the uh, the granite coping is, the pool coping, and then the rest of the bowl is uh, four foot. Now, the reason why I want to rock over, learn to rock over the four foot coping is, is because to me, this is where, this height is where skateboarding begins. That quarter is great for learning on, three foot. Four foot is where all the good skaters take their tricks to. So you learn on that one, and then you take your tricks up to this one when you become more competent, more skillful. And I find in a lot of skate parks, the four foot quarter seems to be the standard. So if you really want to be able to ride every skate park, I feel you have to get comfortable at this height. So if this, is, this height has been a big goal for me ever since I started, or well, ever since I came to this skate park actually and realize that four foot is where skateboarding is at. Well, what I perceive skateboarding to be at. But rocking over, over coping at this height, I find absolutely terrifying. Um, I've attempted it a few times, but haven't been able to do it. So I've got the camera out this time, and I'm hoping the camera is gonna push me to actually committing and get, overcoming my fears. I've been learning on this section here. It starts at the three foot, and then it works its way all the way up to the five foot. Now, I've managed to rock in up to here. I'm easily rocking over the coping at the four foot height, probably a little, little bit higher, but um, the coping there is a lot shallower. It's not so chunky. See, it's not, you can kind of, I can kind of scrape over that coping quite, quite comfortably. Now the difference in that coping and the coping here is minimal. But to me, it's a huge difference. You see, the idea is once I can master this coping here, I'll be able to do disasters and lots of other tricks. What I'm most scared of is hanging up. I'm terrified that the rear truck is going to catch on the coping and then throw me straight to the concrete. I've fallen straight to the concrete from that height before. And it really, really hurts. So I'm really scared of falling from, from that height. Right, um, let's have a go. Oh, I'm so scared. Right, on the sloped bit on the other side of the skate park, the bit that goes from the three foot to the five foot, I've worked my way up to at least four foot. In fact, I'm probably close close to five foot. But it, I'm finding it difficult to actually get to the five foot section. So I thought, well, I'm over four foot on the other side, so I nearly committed then this time. So yeah, we'll see. So anyway, um, I thought I'd bring it over to this side because it's because it's four foot, but it's a lot steeper. It's not a lot steeper. It's a bit steeper here, and also the coping's chunkier. But those two factors are minimal, but they're m hugely significant to me. Um, so I'm just trying to overcome the fear I have. But if I can do it this side, then I feel I can do it anywhere because this is the main quarter pipe of the park. And it's where I've always dreamed of doing it. It's been a big goal of mine for a very long time. If I can do it on this side, I feel I've made it. I know 
can do it. Because all I have to do is just put my foot on the nose, lean forward, and lift the back trucks over. I have the skill, I have the technique. I just don't have the courage. It's so annoying when you you know you can do something, but you're, there's an area in your brain that you can't access and you can't override it. It's so frustrating. desperate here this is this is ridiculous um i had this idea that i could get these old crutches out of the cupboard and extend them to the the um longest length and use those as support i was i'm just so desperate really you've no idea i am so desperate to get this trick i will try anything look how ridiculous it looks Luckily, there's no one down the skate park. In fact, I wouldn't have even got them out. If there was anybody at the skate park, I wouldn't have got them out. But it's clearly not going to work. Change, that, change of plan. I'm going to work my way up from here to hopefully get to there. You see, I don't have a problem there, even though I'm higher than four foot. I'm higher than the four foot quarter, quarter on the other side. I've just gradually worked my way up and, and I've become familiar with the coping and familiar with the shape of the transition. I think I tried to move on to the completely onto the flat bit there, onto the top, and I think no, not ready for that, so I moved it back. Back to the slope, back to the right of that line where I feel safe. Back on the top flat bit again, left of the line. Still not ready though. Move back down to the slope mat where it's safe, that's it. Look at that, look. Nearly there, look. So close yet so far. I just had a look back at the footage and I'm practically on top. So I don't know what the problem is. Why do I find it such a struggle? It's about five centimeters difference, five, ten centimeters difference. It's nothing virtually the same. Okay, admittedly the transition does slightly change, but ever so slightly. It shouldn't be a problem. Right, I'm going to speed these up now because it's just me trying over and over again to move from the slope onto the onto the deck, onto the flat bit at the top. Um, I start bailing because fear sets in and I actually can't do it anymore so I take a break. Okay, I, I had a bit of a break. I'm hoping that my mind is reset because I got scared even doing it just on the, the downward slope bit, which I'm quite confident at. Something suddenly came into my mind and I couldn't do it, but I'm back. So let's hope I can get it right to the top. Been at this about an hour and 20 minutes now. I'm starting to get on my nerves. I better hurry up. This, the scooter kids will be here soon. It's now 8:30. I got here at about 7:10, I think, but pro pro probably just before 7:10, and got on the board at 7:10. So I better hurry because it's going to be mayhem. Well maybe not, it's a bit windy so maybe parents are put off bringing their kids down here, I don't know. But there will be some people turning up soon, that's for sure. This is my closest one for a while, so very, very close to being on top of the flat bit. I try to do the same again, look, but can't quite do it, so I've moved back down. See, I get so close to the top and then it, I reset and I can't face it anymore. 
Some of these are getting pretty close to the top again. I th oh, look at that one, look. It's right, it's half on, half off. Half on the slope, half on the flat bit. So close. I'm improving. Another one, 50% slope, 50% flat deck. But yeah, well, we'll see. Right, I'm right on the crease. So hopefully I'm, I can do it. Right. These are looking really good now. I must be feeling very confident up there. I guess I assume I'm going to do it soon. And look, I've tried it for the fl from on the flat, completely on the flat. Let's see what happens. No, nope. they almost did it. Then I got a little bit scared because the transition is slightly different, and I felt it under the board. I felt that transition just very slightly, and it put me off, and I jumped, and I bailed. I know what the problem is. I remember it quite clearly. The transition changes. The shape of the transition ch changes. On the slope, it's very different to on the flat flat bit at the top. It, on the flat bit at the top, it sort of drops away quite sharply. Well, more sharply than it does on the slope bit. And as I'm approaching the coping, I'm looking at my nose and then my eyes move towards the shape of the transition and I see that it's different and it's a little bit steeper. And that freaks me out because it's different. I haven't practiced it from the top with the transition that shape. I've only practiced it on the slope and so my eyes are used to seeing the the transition that um, leads on from the slope. Those two bows have really affected me. They've, they really put me off. I'm now struggling to even go down at a lesser height. See, can't do it anymore. I've, had, I've really had to move down the slope now just to gain my confidence back. And even moving down the slope is just not enough. Looks like I could do with a break. I need to reset a bit, I think. Right, I've had a bigger break now. I've had about 45 minutes break. I'll come back to it. <laughs> 